Robert E. Lee himself said, don't bury me in a Confederate uniform. Don't put no Confederate paraphernalia around my grave because to have so would be an affront to the North. Tonight on Off Script, civil rights activist Jesse Jackson announces that he's been diagnosed with Parkinson's. I think Hello and welcome to Off Script. I'm Bruce Johnson, civil rights icon, leader. Reverend Jesse Jackson has been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. The 76-year-old civil rights and Democratic Party figure made the announcement in a letter to supporters saying he was diagnosed some two years ago. The disease also afflicted his father. I last talked to Jesse Jackson back in September at the Congressional Black Caucus Legislative Weekend. The Virginia gubernatorial race, how important is that? It's big because Virginia and uh, New Jersey are the two big races this year. Given what happened, this display of hate and vitriol in Virginia, it puts it on the spot. We must remember in November uh, because it'll be a tug of war for the soul of Virginia and for the soul of the South. And we know what happened in Virginia. I'm joined by Dr. Fernando uh, Pagan. He's a, neuro a neurologist at MedStar Georgetown. Thanks for joining us, doctor. No, you, Let, let's start at the very beginning. What is Parkinson's disease? So Parkinson's disease is a motor disorder. And this was, this was the, uh, first uh, described by James Parkinson's over, over 200 years ago. And it's a motor disorder where you have slowness of movement. You can have rigidity and tremor. Some people have like a mass facies appearance. They can have a low volume of, in their voice. But what, we're, what we've learned over the last few decades is that there is also non-motor symptoms that can precede the motor symptoms. And what causes these motor and non-motor symptoms is a loss of dopamine and other neurotransmitters. Some of the non-motor symptoms are constipation, loss of smell, uh, uh, and, uh, uh, and also having some sleep disorders where you act out your dreams. When you hear that, hear that Jesse Jackson's father was afflicted with Parkinson's, uh, when you look at his age, uh, when you look at him, you've seen him a couple of times on these sound bites, not surprising to you that this looks like it could be Parkinson's? Uh, you can clearly tell that his voice is low tone. There's a loss of expression in his face, and he kind of looks almost a little bit robotic, and that's one of the things that you can see with Parkinson's disease. Yeah, and a lot of people picked up on this quite some time ago with Jesse, and they would say, well, he's just getting old or he's getting tired. We make that mistake they can do that quite often, you know, out here when we look at people, right? That, that's correct. This is, when you see a slowing down of movement and there may be some stiffness or rigidity, that's not necessarily aging. Sometimes there's a premature aging where you're actually losing these dopaminergic neurons. And by that time, as I, as a neurologist, make the, the diagnosis based on those motor symptoms, the disease has probably been present somewhere between four to 10 years. Dr. Pagan, what's, what's the treatment for Parkinson's? So we have medications that can help treat and alleviate the motor symptoms. So we can replace dopamine or we can mimic uh, dopamine by certain medications. The mainstay is the use of medicine called levodopa that the brain can take up and make dopamine. We can also use medicines to stimulate dopamine. These are known as dopamine agonists and we can also use medicines to keep dopamine around a little bit longer. However, we're also getting better at treating the non-motor symptoms as well. But no cure. There is no cure, but there's a lot of great research being done. Uh, in fact, we're, we're seeing a research where, where what we've learned is that what causes Parkinson's are these misfolded proteins that accumulate in the cell and they cause a, a dysfunction of these cells and ultimately cell death and it spreads from one cell to the next. In Parkinson's disease, this is called alpha-synuclein. It's the second most common neurodegenerative disorders. Alzheimer's is the first but uh, most common and it's a different protein. But we've learned that there are po potential ways of removing those proteins, either using antibodies. And at Georgetown, we're actually doing research using a chemotherapeutic drug to, to turn on the garbage disposal system of the cell to get rid of those proteins. And so we're looking at some very exciting trials. So hopefully in the near future, we'll have disease-modifying agents. Thanks, thanks a lot. Thanks for uh, ending on that positive news. Th thank Appreciate you. It. All right, okay. Turning elsewhere.